All right, welcome back to Good Morning Vale into the studio. Chalky White's joining us now. Uh, he's been a ski instructor for, I think you said, 39 years? That's right. And to you 20, were Bobby back of them in here. London before that. In London? Yeah, yeah, London, Bobby, and Kent in the south Thanks of London as well. Thanks for being here today. No, no, my pleasure. Thank you. So you Thanks get out and ski me. a bunch. Obviously, you're teaching people how to ski and how to kind of direct themselves through their lives at the same time, right? That's right. I'm, I've now got myself involved as a, as a motivational speaker, a professional motivational speaker. Okay. And uh, I have a, a, a message which is uh, the what called the I call my what if factor, and the, the, the name the name of my uh, speech is uh, how to say nay to your naysayers and have the last laugh. And gladly <laughs> I can tell you I've now had the last laugh lots of times. <laughs> I love it. Okay, I have a couple of questions here, and I want to go through these specifically for you because uh -huh. they're designed for you. I understand that through your life, many have doubted your abilities to fulfill your dreams and achieve your goals. That's right. right? Lo lots and lots of times, right from when, when I was a child. started out with my father who told me I'd never amount to anything. Well, he might be partially right, but <laughs> I like, yeah, to, but, you know, I like but that's, to think not. That's, you know, that's, <laughs> it's, it's a give or take. I mean, it's what one piece person thinks amounting to something what other, somebody else is or uh -huh. thinks is, is, uh -huh. could be completely different. Uh, so you have, you have amounted to something. Exactly right. Yeah, I mean, I was told, for example, by way back that I'd never make it even as a junior ski instructor, let alone a senior ski instructor. <laughs> and I, and trying to, when I was trying to get my full certification, I failed my British full certification three times. And they, and, uh, they had a meeting about me and they, they announced that Chalky White will never be a fully certified ski instructor because he's the wrong body shape because I've got bandy bowed legs. Yeah? Yeah. So then I go down to New Zealand. They told me to open my feet. The rest is history. I've got my full certification and now I'll be fully certified since 1984. <laughs> so it just shows you what can happen See? If, you ne if you don't quit and you keep going. That's yeah. correct. Okay, let's talk about your, your, your speech presentation, the what if factor, the what if. Yeah. Who, who would that be useful for? Really anybody. Everybody. But if you wanted to aim it at spe specific people, it'd be, and this is why I want to get involved with corporations, because I think this would be great for sales teams. For example, you get, get the salesperson that's sitting at the desk and thinking, I don't want to talk to this guy. I really don't want to talk to this guy. But if he never, ne if he never ever picks up the phone to talk to the person, what happens? He's going to lose his job, yeah. lose his career, no great holidays, no, no nice car, no nothing. Yeah, so that's why I came up with many, many years ago to help me to get through a lot of my own doubts and they say, people saying no to me was a thing I call my what if factor. Yeah. And when, that's, when you apply that over and over again, it's like a sledgehammer. You know, you can keep breaking through barriers and barriers that, that, that people keep putting up in front of you and you keep going over walls and round walls and banging your way through walls. And the what if factor can really help anybody uh, to, to get through all, any wall that they really want to if, if the dream and the, and the goal they've got is strong enough and it's what they really, really want. Okay. Let's rewind a little bit now. So you came out with a book a while ago called The Seven Secrets of Skiing uh -huh. and you're headed in the direction of another book which is going to be motivational of sorts also. Tell us about your next book. Well, the, yeah, the name of the book is going to be... Um, <laughs> Do they keep farm animals up here? <laughs> now, I, there is obviously a story behind that, but I'm not going to explain that here because I want to obviously leave people a little bit intrigued by For that. For sure. But it's going to, it is going to be motivational in, in nature, biographical first of all, but also very motivational. So I'm going to give people at the, at the, at the end of, of every a short story that I write, uh, the takeaway from this story is... The takeaway is. The takeaway is. That's right. Yeah. And I always keep that and in mind. What if? I always ask yourself, what if? What if I do this? What if I don't do this? What's yeah. the outcome going to be? Thanks, Chunky. Yeah. Thank you very much. Well, it's good Re to see you. Congratulations. Really and we wish you all the best with all your future endeavors. And you are going to continue to make something of yourself, I promise. Right. You and uh, you, you, perhaps you might give out to my uh, phone number and stuff. Is I'm doing possible? it right now. It's been on the screen. There it is on the screen. Oh, there tell go. everybody, 970 Three nine zero six two six seven, and go to the website the seven number seven secrets of skiing dot com. Uh, we've got weather with Ken. We've got so much more of Good Morning Vale coming up. A lot more interviews. We'll be right back. <laughs>